Now the forecast here in Boise has really changed. Temperatures in the low 60s and winds is a storyline. Gusting winds earlier today took down many a tailgate tents in the lots <laughs> outside the stadium. Chaos outside. Chaos. There's barbecues everywhere. Well, this uh, series history, there isn't much of it. Only the second meeting ever between the Cowboys and the Broncos. As mentioned earlier, Oklahoma State, the first Big 12 team to ever visit Boise State in the regular season. These two teams met in the home-and-home -home series back in 2018 in Stillwater. It was a lopsided win for Oklahoma State. Boise State will begin with the ball. Oklahoma State won the toss. They deferred. And the Broncos will start behind their third-year starter, Hank Bachmeyer. He's yet to play a full season, coming off a strong performance in the win last week at home against UTEP. He completed over 70% of his passes for 340 yards and a couple of scores. And the story is, when he is healthy and is out there, the Broncos have won 12 of his 15 starts. That's it. They just want to keep him upright, keep him healthy, play point guard, distribute the ball. They'll be much buoyed by the presence of George Helani tonight. Design rolled out. He passes out to the flat, and it's caught right away as he finds Khalil Shakir, who last week went for over 2,000 career yards. It's a pick of a five on first down. As we take a look at the Broncos starting offense, Ojuku is at the start at left tackle. This has been an offensive line that's been in flux early on, and George Halani, they are happy to have him back in the fold. One more snap count for Halani, who breaks free on his first carry. And right away moves the chains. He's pushed out of bounds by Devin Harper. He picks up nine on the play. Yeah, you're going to see tempo from both teams. Both these teams are going to try to go fast, and they're going to simulate the snap and take a look. They feed Halani again. This time he's swarmed and wrapped up. Defensively for the Cowboys, they have been led on the line by Tyler Lacey on the end. Meanwhile, Malcolm Rodriguez, as mentioned earlier, 14 tackles a game. He leads the nation. On the back end, I think they're going to ch challenge Tanner McAllister to coverage. And Oklahoma State in general is going to challenge Hank Bachmeyer to beat them through the air. Watch how tight their safeties are playing already. Also bring up third and seven. Now Boise State, this offense is still without its full complement of weapons. They do get George Halani back full tilt, but they are without wide receiver Stefan Cobbs, who is unavailable tonight for the Broncos. They go empty on third and long. First down once again, his favorite target, Shakir. It's a gain of 16 on the play. Great job in protection right there. Oklahoma State showing pressure last week against Tulsa. They brought a lot of zero heat, meaning no deep safety, no help man coverage. Boise State against Boise State, they dropped out of it. Bachmeyer beats him with the dig throw to Shakir. the blue. Pressure coming from Tyler Lacey. You highlighted Lacey and this is what he has to do to Hank Bachmeyer. Get to him in a four-man rush. It's an RPO look here for Boise State. Maybe just a play action pass but watch 89 get to Bachmeyer and that ball is at risk. 10 of 11 senior starters for Oklahoma State on defense. They've allowed 20 points a game over the first two contests. Broncos go on the ground not going anywhere this time. Yeah, we asked defensive coordinator Jim Knowles from Oklahoma State, have you ever have you ever had this before? And he's like, heck, man, I've never heard of that before. Ten of 11 senior starters. And then the, not, the only non-senior, we just saw Tyler Lacey. Habibi Likio, the Oregon transfer with the carry. Third and 10 now. Bachmeyer towards the boundary, and it is short of the first down. I think they're going to give it to him. Yeah, they will give it to him. They mark him for 11 yards. They find the trail Caples that time. Mm -hmm. 
Going back to that completion. Great time in the pocket here from Bachmeyer. Working the boundary. Let's see if he pushes beyond the sticks. There's possession. Looked like right at the, the line to game. Probably a good call. On the run, Van Buren. Knocked out of bounds. Van Buren, one of our short yardage specialists for the Broncos. Leading rusher last year. It was a really banged up running back room for Boise State a season ago. Yeah, Van Buren listed as at 240. That combination of Halani. Halani can rush for 1,000 yards as a true freshman. Van Buren, 240. Cyrus Habibi, Likio, 215-ish. Leaned up 215. Pressure, showing pressure. He's just trying to eye the pressure. Get into the right protection, get into the right route, and get the ball out. Here it is. And he slings it. This time he completes and is just shy. Davis Cutter, son of Dirk Cutter, former Boise State head coach, his first catch as a Bronco, Portland State transfer. It's fourth and two. I'd like to attempt a field goal here. here. See Oklahoma State indicating safe, safe, safe. They want to play this as safe as possible. That means they're going to be bailing out of it to eliminate any possibility of a fake here for Boise State. This is Jonah Dalmas, five for five on the year. And he's good from 40 yards out. Uh, the opening drive for Boise State. They convert a 40-yard field goal, and the Broncos lead the Cowboys. A 12-play drive that ends in three. Andy Avalos, year number one here in the Valley. He replaces Brian Harson, who went on to Auburn. Avalos, no stranger to Bronco Nation, former linebacker here at Boise State, went on to become defensive coordinator, then on to Eugene, D.C. for the Ducks, and now his first year at the helm of the Broncos. Got a great special teams matchup tonight. Unfortunately for the Broncos, Stephon Cobbs, their leading returner, is out. We saw C.T. Thomas back. Now it looks like L.D. Brown deep here who took one to the house last week against Tulsa. L.D. Brown, 98-yard kickoff return for his score last week. And Brown will field this inside the five. And he cannot reach the 20. He's brought down at the 18. That's where the Cowboys will set up for their opening drive and their third-year quarterback Spencer Sanders who's playing just his second game of the year he missed the opener because of COVID protocols dual threat quarterback he passed for a couple of scores last week and after one game he already leads the Cowboys in rushing <laughs> they're going unfortunately for the Cowboys their, their biggest run was a, a broken play and Spencer Sanders looked like it was his first game of the year last week hoping for a much cleaner effort tonight for Coach Mike Gundy. On the bootleg. And thrown incomplete at the feet of L.D. Brown. Right. On this offensive line for the Cowboys, some youth, some experience as well. Absolutely. They're, they're getting a little bit healthier, it sounds like, in the interior. And then Cole Birmingham, 67, getting his second career start tonight at left tackle. Around this time, stretched out, and Warren brought down. Jalen Warren, the Utah State transfer, brought down by Tyreek Jones, the safety. Jalen Warren had a dynamic touchdown run last week, made multiple players miss. Again, a thicker make them miss juke, 5'8", 215 transfer from Utah State. Third and five now. Cowboys are without their top receiver, Tate Martin, unavailable. Braden Johnson, one of their other best receivers, also not suiting up tonight because of injury. Flushed. Tucking. Sanders has the first down and pushed out of bounds. The flag is down. 
It's going to come back for a hole, but that's a great job recognizing that by Spencer Sanders and using his athleticism. See the call. Would have been a gain of 11. Holding. Number 72. Offense. 10-yard penalty. Third down. Take a look at the hold right here. That's on Josh Sills, the West Virginia transfer. In the left side here, coming in your picture, right? There, just got those, got him locked in. Locked in on Shane Irwin, 55, probably the, probably the best pass rusher on his Boise State team. Now this place is rocking on third and 15. Dalton Brown out of the backfield. Sanders gets rid of it quickly, smothered at the 20, not even close as he goes underneath to Brown. That is a catch. Now the punt team comes on for Oklahoma State on their first drive. They have Shakir back deep to return. Tom Hutton, the 31-year-old Aussie, is on to punt things away. Shakir calls for the fair catch. A punt of 49 yards. We will step aside from the blue. Boise State leading Oklahoma State 3-0. Broncos get in set for their second drive. Mark, take us inside the Boise State film room. The yeah, offensive coordinator Tim Plowd does a great job with the RPO game, and here's one last week that resulted in a touchdown against UTEP. It's a hard sell run. They're blocking a run inside. Everybody in, in the interior, it's a run. They've got a short post down here, a hitch up top. Hank Bachmeyer throws off the safety. Stefan Cobbs does the rest. Broncos start on the ground. And a hard tackle ripped down. It's Halani on the carry. He picks up three. No limitations tonight for George Halani. He's had two full weeks of practice. He missed the opener at the bounce house at US UCF. And then was on a snap count last week. And just five carries. But they expect him in there for somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 snaps tonight. They feed him again. Brings up third down for the Broncos. Just keep watching these safeties. This is what offensive creator Tim Plow will be looking at as well. Hank Bachmeyer will be itching to throw some play action pass. The tighter these safeties get, they know they have to stop George Halani as well. Tighter, tighter, tighter. That means I've got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Bachmeyer zips it. And he has the completion, Octavius Evans, brought down by Christian Holmes for a Boise State first down. That's good for seven yards. Really good execution there by Hank Bachmeyer. Had the motion to the field, a single cut to the boundary. One, reset your feet, bang it in there before Malcolm Rodriguez could get to it. Shakir out to midfield. Shakir good for eight yards. 166 yards of last week versus UTEP for the Broncos' leading receiver. They want to feature this guy all over the map. Run, pass, return, everywhere. Down to the 45. Maybe Likio, the Oregon transfer. It's a great time right here to take a shot, play action. Again, watch the city. Watch the middle of the field right here. Harvey Peel. It could be Jason Taylor, 25, coming down out of middle of the field. A quick snap. Buckman wasn't ready for that. He heaves downfield and just overthrows the fingertips of Shakir. Jason Taylor with the pressure. And there it was on both sides. Had a double move, a sluggo, a slant and go. Both Davis Cutter up top and Shakir down here. Shakir gets pressed so he doesn't run his all right, sorry, check that. That's on the outside. That was Octavius Evans. Shakir just running a slot fade. Sluggo seam is what that's called. A sluggo up top and a seam down here. He wants that one back. My rolling finds Halani out of the backfield. He turns up past the 40, stays on his feet. He's got a first down. Finally brought down by Jarek Bernard Converse. 
Making his 36th consecutive start for the Cowboys. That's good for 12 yards and a first down. You can see why they like him so much. So He can stay square for so long and play power football at the running back position, shedding tackles. From his own 40. Now steps up and is brought down just past the line of scrimmage. Cody Walter shied. Blocked a field goal in the opener for the Cowboys. Jordan is slow to get up there, but he's going to be okay. It's going to be a physical, physical game. And Jordan missed last year with injury. Back in the fourth for Oklahoma State. He set the tunnel screen and almost running into his own man. What's up? He's back on top of it. Looked like he might have been down. Billy Bowens that time on the reception. Broncos got back on it there late. Had one official signal in one way, one official going the other way. Just gets that ball off his body a little bit. He was definitely not down. Look at Jernigan fit that tackle. Textbook face mask on the ball. Lucky to recover that for Boise State. So far they've shown pressure, but then bailed out. We'll see what they do here. They bring Halani back into the backfield on third and four. job by Davis Cutter ends up with no help Shakir is essentially doubled on, over there and this is where the plus one where's the plus one gonna come from Boise State and right there it's Davis Cutter the Portland State transfer his first career touchdown as a Bronco Broncos scoring in their first two drives of the night a field goal and now the Cutter touchdown Boise State, an early lead over Oklahoma State. All right, back in Boise, and you can see the power of a great receiver, Khalil Shakir. The game plan is don't let him beat you. Oklahoma State effectively double teams in here. Watch the reroute of the safety, and then Davis Cutter has single coverage. Receivers everywhere else, one on one. Hank Buckmeyer recognizes the protection with a five man rush is pure. Great throw and catch, and a high point by Davis Cutter puts the exclamation point on it. the end zone. Oklahoma State Cowboys first road game. They get set for their second drive of the night. Broncos lead at 10-0 here in the first quarter. We've got our helper with the kicking tee out there on the field. Crowd was fired up. I'd like to see Buster the Bronco do this. <laughs> Oklahoma State gets Spencer Sanders involved, get him with his feet, get him on the move, get him involved in the read run game, use his skills. Ahead of Warren who cuts up field past the 30, first down. There goes Jalen Warren. He's to the 30, inside the 20. How about all the way to the house for 75? touchdown in each of his first three games as a cowboy you need you need some offense how about an untouched house call a great cut there by warren good fit on the safety that means the corner is unblocked can't fall off on the powerful warren and he says i'm not just power i'll show some speed here too great answer for the cowboys Exhale for the point after 
Up and good. Oklahoma State wasted no time. First play of their second drive, 75 yards later. Jalen Warren all the way to Pater. Oklahoma State has gotten nothing going on the ground the first two games, but now Jalen Warren ripping off a 75-yard touchdown run. I mean, for perspective, the Cowboys averaged 95 yards on the ground their first two games. 54 yards rushing against Missouri State. That is eclipsed. Tanner Brown this time kicking things off for the Cowboys through the back of the end zone. Interesting comments from head coach Mike Gundy, his 17th year in Stillwater after last week's win, but not a pretty win. He said, we are going to have to get better at designing plays. <laughs> pretty period. blunt. Yeah, pretty blunt. And offensive coordinator Casey Dunn, well done. D-U-N-N-D-O-N-E. -N -N -D -O -N -E. Watch at the bottom of the screen, Rashad Jones. His job right here is to block that safety. J.L. Skinner, zero. This is a happy hour. Two blocks for the price of one. You get Markel Reed, eight. J.L. Skinner, zero. And that results in a house call for seven. Broncos back with the ball at their own 25. Buckmeyer finds Shakir. Shakir, another catch and another first down for Boise State. That time good for 13. Yeah, great job on quick game there by Bachmeyer. Very soft that time on Shakir. And string it out. Bernard Converse forcing him out of bounds. Good adjustment there by Boise State. They had a puller, and Oklahoma State is designing that defense to bounce the ball to the safety. Bibi Likio remains in the backfield. This time, ooh, dangerous, almost picked off. Shakir drops and gets popped. Tanner McAllister, the safety, to deliver the blow. Yeah, this must have been a predetermined screen because the, the numbers would tell him to hand the ball off to Habibi Likio and a host of Cowboys there to make sure that that was a forward pass that was incomplete. They're still trying to spread them out here. And on 36. Buckmeyer pressure and brought down from behind. Oklahoma State with the sack. Brock Martin, the senior, playing in his 40th career game. It's a loss of seven. We were interested in seeing how Boise State would block Tyler Lacey and Brock Martin, both making a huge difference so far tonight. Just a great effort sack that time by Martin. Cowboys last year second in the conference in sacks. They average three a game. This is Presley. As it lands out of bounds. Tomorrow, George Kittle leads the Niners against the Eagles. Or Matt Ryan and the Falcons take on Tom Brady and the defending champion Bucks. Check local listings for the game in your area only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Brady's going to play till he's 50. Did I hear that right? <laughs> Can't even imagine that. Hey, if there's anybody who could. Yeah, exactly. Don't doubt him for a second. Sanders and company back on the field. Spencer Sanders and company playing without Des Jackson, the running back without three wide receivers. Why not the hand back to Warren? This time, not nearly as far as his last carry when he took it 75 yards to the house. That time, a pickup of three. Well, this is a team that has been. Incredibly beat up, and you look at Tay Warren, top left, their most dynamic receiver in particular. Kind of essentially a second straight game. He played just two snaps last week. Back on the ground. Warren. Warren pushed back. That's a loss of one. Penijo, Mr. Everything, Mr. Academic Heisman. A stud, kind of an undersized linebacker in there. He's a safety playing linebacker in that look. And shooting through there doing his best Malcolm Rodriguez impression. 
Kekula Kuniho, a 4.0 student, first team academic All American. Third and long now for Oklahoma State. Over the middle, tipped, and it drops to the blue. Skinner was right there. Pressure from Shane Irwin. Shane Irwin again on Cole Birmingham. That's the matchup on this side of the ball we're intrigued about. Spencer Sanders stands in there and takes a shot. Watch 55 beat him around the hole. Just a speed rush and a little bit behind his intended receiver, Brennan Presley. So the Cowboys in three drives, a pair of three and outs, and then the 75-yard touchdown run. Catch call for. Feels like they told Shakir, hey, just just fair catch it. Just catch the ball. Get us the ball back. That's a punt of 54 yards. It brings back out Hank Bachmeyer. Now Bachmeyer, two-time academic all Mountain West. And if you remember, week one for the Broncos, they went all the way out to UCF. They had a, a weather delay that was pushing nearly three hours. And so what did Hank Bachmeyer do during that long weather delay in the locker room? Well, he logged on to his uh, online class. Professor Fang. Yeah. That's, Ray that's Fang was very impressed. Uh, uh, Hank Bachmeyer just wanted to check in, make sure the class was going okay. He said, Hank, you're muted. How much noise in the background? Well, he's turning the ground. Oh, he tries to cut up field and is driven back. It's a pickup of two. Jason Taylor. Yeah, Tyler Lacey, Jason Taylor. Again, you can see the physicality of Tyler Lacey. 89, the lone red shirt junior, the only guy that's not a senior on that defense. Already two TFLs so far. Spins down to the 35 for a first down. It's a pickup of 13. Great design here by the Mercy State offensive staff. The, the motion, that's two at call. The four by one empty. Four receivers one way. One here. They're showing it, that alignment again right here. It's line up in at this time. Another completion this time. Dragged down from behind. But Shakir with the catch. He's trying to find that matchup. They had Evans with the off coverage on the hitch. Shakir on the man cut with a slant. Good execution by Hank Bachman. Maloney, Maloney not going far. Third down coming. It's just going to be one of those games where it's going to be shots like the, the one that with the uh, touchdown to cutter one on one matchups. They are not going to let Boise State run the ball. That's their goal. Watch again the front on any kind of a rundown situation. First and ten, second and manageable. Jim Knowles and his defense are being very aggressive. tonight part of the convoy that brings him down fourth down coming now for the Broncos that takes us to the end of the first quarter 10-7 Boise State trying to defend the blue against a power five foe making a trip here to Idaho when we come back second quarter straight ahead Today's team comparison sponsored by Credible.com. 75 of the 89 total yards for Oklahoma State coming on one run. Meanwhile, the Broncos nine first downs, 127 yards through the air. Yes, Sanders starting out one for three. Obviously, big plays both ways, like you said. The number that Mike Gunny will be happy with is 27 yards rushing for Boise State. Lee on 
his own 10 calling for the fair, fair catch upon a 48 yards. Mark, how about you take us inside the Oklahoma State film room? Yeah, I think Coach Gundy and his design better plays. Part of that is plays like this. We've got five blockers, right? It's an empty. There's no back back there. Four rushers, and we block five with three. One unblocked Tulsa Golden Hurricane gets to Spencer Sanders later. They're in a double eagle look right there. The guard center and guard are covered. They go to kind of an automatic call, which then makes Spencer Sanders throw hot. He throws a dime, by the way, to Jaden Gray. But those are problems that Boise State's going to try to exploit. They'll try to line up in those same looks and make Oklahoma State essentially play their rules. They've got to check them and make sure if they got that correct. And 90 yards ahead for Sanders and the Cowboys as he throws out, and it's knocked away. A hard hit. That time delivered by Skinner. Yeah, Skinner. I mean, it looked like Canijo was going to pick six that right in the front. Uh, there for Boise State. It's 28 and 0. 28's going to undercut the route, and then Zero's going to bring it. J.L. Skinner is a stud. 6'4", 220. Long, lean, physical, smart. Talked to a couple NFL scout got, scouts earlier. They love that dude. And it's Presley who got blown up. This time design run for Sanders, who is not going far. Third and long coming. Jackson Cravens, the former Utah transfer. Right there to stop him in his tracks. Coach Avalos should be happy about that. Again, they want, they want Spencer Sanders to put them as a drop back passer, take away his legs. And again, they're without three of their top targets outside. One of their running backs, third and ten, is ideal result after that play for Andy Avalos. And now whistle. Boise State takes their first charge timeout of the half. Timeout on the field. Broncos take a timeout. In advance of this third and ten snap. We will step aside just underway in the second quarter. Side of that 75 yard touchdown run by Jalen Warren. Cowboys haven't been able to get much going. They're trying to avoid what would be their third three and out. Design run, Sanders bounces. And he is shoved out of bounds. Markel Reed, the corner right there. Great disguise here by Boise State defensively. Coach Avalos with a timely timeout right before to get this stop. Watch the edge pressure come from both sides. Coming off that edge, coming off that edge, forcing Spencer Sanders on the, the run to be even that much more uncomfortable. A great pursuit to get a dynamic athlete out of bounds. And Markel Reed, when talking about having a power five school come to the blue, he said it's a huge opportunity. We look at it as food on the plate, and we're going to eat it up. Short field ahead for the Broncos. C.T. Thomas catches the punt. Andy Avalos, first-year head coach for the Broncos, former Boise State linebacker. As we go back into the archives, we find uh, his size, what is that, a 23 neck? As he was a linebacker of the day for the Broncos. How about this quarterback coach in that head of hair, Mark Helfrich? The only Dude, time my hair looked here. as good as his. <laughs> oh, no. Now Set's that, going off around America. I was told that this actually was uh, in color, but we made it black and white. <laughs> for dramatic effects. Alani essentially back to the line of scrimmage. Can we stay focused on the game? It's boys? amazing. Uh, the civilians who <laughs> just stopped traffic for Helfrich <laughs> here in Boise. It's a friendly place. Had good players and Dirk Cutter. <laughs> well, welcome back home. A home a while ago. But nonetheless, I know you have fond memories of your time here. On second and ten. And complete once again 
to Cutter, who had the touchdown catch earlier. Thomas Harper. Safety brings it out. It's a gain of seven. Really good recognition here by the front of, of Boise State. Oklahoma State bringing five against that empty look. That means you're five on five and really good protection. Good execution. Setting up a third and manageable. You know, Cutter didn't have a catch this year. He's got three for 40 plus his scores so far in the first half tonight. Fourth down coming. And just great pursuit on the backside. Tyler Lacey again denting the backside. The line, fourth down. They're going for it on fourth and two. Buckmeyer rolling against his body. He is able to get the first down. He's taken down by Devin Harper, but too late. Moves the chain for the Broncos. Great pursuit coming out of center fielder by Thomas Harper, 13, and Bachmeyer. Protect the ball, protect yourself. He has a tendency to play a little, that, that's part of it, hero ball, but that's a gutsy first down that they'll love here. Another rollout. Checks down. Alani out of the backfield. Inside the 20 and forced out of bounds. A gain of 14. Yeah, Halani bounces this outside. Good recognition that everything was covered downfield. Get it to Halani, and he says, Hey, I'm not a quarterback. Truck you. Inside the 20 now. They set it up, they complete inside the 10 and taken down. Billy Bowens owns more of a vertical threat. He gains nine on the play. Coach Gundy down to the 10-yard line here complaining about something. I think he either a shoulder or some sort of crack back on that screen. He's down giving the headlines in the ear for him. Second one the hand of Van Buren. He plows ahead for the first down near the five. You see the versatility of all these backs. Oklahoma State has a similar stable. Oklahoma, uh, Boise State's just a little bit more experienced. And again, Van Buren, 240 down here in the tight red zone. Anticipate him on the football run game. And then Bakhmar on the move. Target just a little too high. Christian Holmes on the coverage. Looking for Bowens again. Yeah, they're down the depth chart a little bit here. Bowens, they they thought would get some play, just a little bit high, but that's a good place to miss if you're Hank Bachmar. You don't want to throw that ball low and let a backside backer make a play that he shouldn't. He's unhappy. And this defense needs to bow up right here. They're going to test the interior of the game plan. These guys here test the interior of this Bronco front. Maybe Lee Keogh gets the carry, bounces it out, and he walks his across for the touchdown. His first as a Bronco. Side just collapsed down here, just a great job caving that in. Van Buren escorting his fellow back, Habibi Likio, into the end zone. A little bit designed. It's back helping back right there by Boise State. That's his 22nd career score. Up and good. 17-7 Broncos scored through the air and now on the ground. Cyrus Habibi Likio is first with Boise State. All right, Mark, what's your sense about what Mike Gundy is so hot about? 
Yeah, it looked like he was talking about an alignment, and, and we went back and looked at it on the break, and it, it's kind of a, he said twice, they lined up, they're lining up in that, uh, essentially a three by one formation to the field motioning this direction and then he was he was saying there was a, a hold involved on that screen as well we, we couldn't find it but he's battling for his guys Brown will let this go to the back of the end zone well, next weekend on Fox, start Saturday strong with the big news kickoff pregame show at 10 a.m. Eastern, live from Soldier Field in Chicago. Then at noon Eastern, do we have a good one for you? Jack Cohen of the 12th ranked Fighting Irish take on number 18, Wisconsin. A huge big noon Saturday begins 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific on Fox at the Fox Sports app. Jack Cohn changing sides in that in that rivalry. That's right. Some early game storylines as we saw. On Fox, Oklahoma holding off Nebraska game of the century rematch. Eddie Brown trying to string this out and he's shoved back to the 15. Tyreek Jones, nice to meet you. That's a loss of seven. Tyreek Jones coming up next. The left of the screen, 21 showing up. Big time in the back here. He says enough about J.L. Skidder. I'm going to get two. This incomplete. Out towards the boundary. Looking for Bryson Green. Markel Reed there on the coverage. Just manage this situation right here. If your offensive coordinator Casey Dunn and Spencer Sanders. Third and 17. Backed up. The crowd's into it. Take care of the rock. Don't do anything crazy. Sanders just one for five. A very opposite quarterback storyline so far. Bachmeyer has been incredibly efficient for the Broncos. On the drop. He is wrapped up, spun down. They needed 17. J.L. Skinner, leading tackler, right there after a pick of a seven. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good decision. You know, a lot of Oklahoma State fans, I know, will be disappointed in that. But don't make a bad situation worse. Third and 17, they're getting there with a four-man rush. What they have to be better on is first and second down. Stay out of that third and 17. But avoid the disaster and just punt it away. Well, they've had five drives. Four of them have ended in three and out. And the other was the 75-yard touchdown run. The very first play from Jalen Warren. Another short field ahead for the Broncos. 17-7, Boise State. That time a punt of just 27 yards. Now this Boise State defense not giving up much so far in the first half. And the Boise State lead actually feels greater than what it is at 17-7. Part of the reason why the quarterback comparison, Mark, could not be more night and day so far in the first half. No doubt. Yeah, Oklahoma State basically had one play and then a bunch of not-so-great stuff. Hank Bachmeyer is extremely efficient, explosive, over 10 yards per completion. Under nine minutes to play in the first half. Just getting done lighting the crowd as he rolls out, checks down, and right away inside of Cowboy territory. Habibi Likio keeps on his feet, is finally brought down by Tanner McAllister, but again a 16 and a Broncos first down. Just a, just a really good job. We just talked about Hank Buckmeyer's efficiency of drawing the pressure and dumping it to Habibi Likio and letting him do the rest. He took another shot. Empty again. And a motion out cutter. They get it to him quickly. Now a double pass. Wide open and dropped right off the fingertips of Billy Bowens. They might take a look at that. They look like that first pass was for, didn't it? To the, to the blind eye. Got to really do a great job, the quarterback and whoever he's throwing to. Watch. We'll see him throw the ball. This has to be backward. It was close. But it doesn't matter. That'll be a fight in the wide receiver room. Uh, this is for the next one. <laughs> nice snap. Bachmeyer able to hang with it. And zips. Complete. What a catch. Khalil Shakir doing it again. 
might have guys downfield. That was, I think that was supposed to be a screen that was a busted play, and then just turned into an incredible catch. Now, that's not even one of his 20. good ones, though. That's Ineligible just a player downfield on the pass. Number 68, offense, five-yard penalty, second down. That's in Jake's stats. Yeah, Bach Bachmeyer kind of panicked there. Uh, when he saw the screen kind of break down, multiple guys were downfield. Let's watch the interior. They're setting up, trying to throw a screen to Habibi Likio. Everybody kind of panics. Well, they're happy to have Stets back. He missed last week's game. And played only about the first half of the opener. They're stepping up. Now tucks. Bachmeyer inside the 30. Big pickup. Down coming. Good job by Bachmeyer managing his shot. He took a big time shot on that throw to Habibi Likio. More than half of Boise State's plays have been in Oklahoma State territory. It's a pick up of a dozen. Third and three coming now for the Broncos. This is where the Jim Miller's defense corner from Oklahoma State. Gotta make a stop right here. Limited to a field goal attempt. Keep him out of the end zone. Maybe Likio has it. Trying to wiggle his way forward, and he does. He slithers ahead and picks up the first down. He gains six, and now a man down for Boise State. Timeout on the field. See Habibi Likio's power had a ton of tight area, tight red area inside the five touchdowns at Oregon. Great job staying square physical. Him on Rodriguez is just a great matchup to watch tonight. We will step aside as they tend to an injured Boise State player. John Ojuku, the left tackle for Boise State, the injured player, was able to walk off on his own power and made his way inside the injury tent. Yeah, Osu G77, kind of the next tackle, and there's the guy lined at the spot right now. Ten. To Abibi Likio. To the 20. Gains two. Brought down by Malcolm Rodriguez, who is leading the nation in tackles. He's averaging 14 a game. It is so fun to watch that guy work, man. He does so much dirty work. Seek gap to seek gap. Shedding blockers. Undersized dude. 225. Wrestling background. Stud. Former safety need to line back. See no safety back. Oh. On the right to the left. Technology. Trick coming and incomplete. Bibi Likio, the only man even close. Pressure from Devin Harper. Incomplete. Get another shot on, on Bachmeyer here. It's a zero blitz. Again, no safety back there. Bringing pressure. Making Hank Bachmeyer process it. They tried to get the tail back down the pipe. As you said, for Habibi Likio. Jason Taylor, not a great matchup for Boise State. And run him off the ground. Broncos have been good on third down so far in the first half. Five of nine. Big play right here for Oklahoma State. Fourth down. Great stand by Jim Knowles. Defense right here. Watch the pressure coming at Bachmeyer into his kitchen. Be right in his gut. And then a zero blitz. No safety back there. BB Leakio can only take one. Jonah Domus is on. That time 42 in their journey again. Forcing the errant throw. But watch Bachmeyer's time. Gotta hit the top of his rock. Get out. There's nothing else he can do there. Domus is on here from 36 yards out. Hit from 30 earlier. He's two for two on the night. 27. Boise State leading in the first half. Let's take a look at what's coming up on the State Farm halftime. Another six and a half. Coming up on the State Farm halftime, top ranked Alabama barely survived in the swamp. Harvard and Penn State battling an SEC Big Ten top 25 matchup. And could Georgia Tech pull off the upset against Clemson? Join me, CP, and Acho at the half. Right now, Aaron and Mark, back to you.
Thank you. 27 now, Broncos have the lead. Now, Boise State has historically played Power 5 teams well, but Boise State has lost five of their last seven Power 5 opponents, including back in 2018, the loss in Stillwater against the Cowboys, a 44-21 win for Oklahoma State. Brown lets it go to the back of the end zone. Tonight's celebration moment sponsored by Allstate. Who's going to be celebrating today? Well, this was uh, quite the moment earlier today. George Louie worked at Ada County Paramedics since 1990. He retires after 31 years of dedicated service. An on-scene EMT for Boise State football games along with other Bronco athletic events. He requested that his last, last shift be tonight <laughs> in this game against Oklahoma State. Honored earlier today. On the ground. Warren, another big run. He whipped off a 75-yard touchdown scamper earlier. This one for 27. Great drive started by Oklahoma State. Get him going. Get Jalen Warren going. Really good job again. Watch the receiver coming to block Skinner. Same spot. Different wideout. Do it. No, no, this is the same one. Great job by Rashad Owens. 10. Blocking zero Skinner. Let Warren run. First snap inside Broncos territory for Oklahoma State. They go back to the ground. Warren picks up six this time. And because of that big run for 75 yards, he's over 100 for the night. Oklahoma State has had such a hard time figuring out their ground game so far. You look at what he has done compared to the rest of the team tonight. 109 yards of offense compared to 14. Yeah. Every Oklahoma State fan say, hey, get to him 18 times. <laughs> Second and four now. Play action pressure and incomplete. Got Matlock right there in the face of Sanders. This is just a hard sell play action pass, not an RPO situation where it's a run play. So he's really trying to sell that in and watch Matlock coming right into your living room. Virtually unblocked. A little movement. Spencer Sanders can't do anything. But play the next down. Two plays here if you're Oklahoma State. So get to your whatever you think your best play is. Possible to get four yards, knowing you're going to go forward on fourth. Design run, Sanders. He's got the first down. And a hard hit lowers the shoulder. He picks up 10 on the play. Tyreek Jones, the tackler. Great athleticism here by Spencer Sanders. Great desire, competitiveness. And watch Jalen Warren, seven. Did a great job out in front to lead his quarterback to a first down. Boise State has been able to get pressure out of a four-man rush and help out on the perimeter. Feed Warren again up the field to the 25. It's good play design again. I think we're going to see a lot of this tonight from both teams simulating the snap, showing, trying to get, sorry, trying to get the defense to show them what's going on and get to the best play. Here it is again. Casey Dunn takes a look. Communicates it to Spencer Sanders. Now execute. Boise well, State trying to change the look. Warren trying to spin off, but is stuck. Jail Skinner, and he's just shy. Third down coming. Skinner again, 6'4, 220. Bringing the hammer from Fort Loma and San Diego. Great fit set up the issue. This time Sanders keeps. He's got the first down. Sanders inside the 15, just shy of the 10. He picks up 10 on the play. Nice job. Not sure if this is a read or not. Sometimes he just pulls it and just does his thing. This guy's a, a, a little bit of a freelancer, but this is the result. A lot of those times, Warren fits up on the unblocked defender, 
Boise State takes Boise their second State's going to take a time out. They don't like this drive that Oklahoma State has put together. It really feels like Oklahoma State needs more than just a field goal here. Definitely. Definitely. You know, obviously, depending on down and distance, some of those things, but 341. They're down two touchdowns, and they would feel a lot better about themselves going in 20, 20 to 14 than 20 to 10. Cowboys get the ball coming out of halftime as well. She wants a touchdown. Of uh, the help people affected by Hurricane Ida, visit redcross.org or text the word Ida to 90999 to make a $10 donation. Your gift is a commitment to helping people in need, and every single donation matters. Financial donations enable the Red Cross to prepare for, respond to, and help people recover from this disaster. Yes, this just feels like Oklahoma State right here. You have to use Sanders, you have to use Warren, and these backs. There's just not the guy yet on the outside that's going to complete the fates to 100% of the time. They hand to Brown, and he is smothered and ripped down. Calamete, a loss of four. And the problem is Boise State kind of knows that, too, uh, by how they're playing that look. Trying to fit the back up here, L.D. Brown, that you, you can see on the back side of that play. They had Spencer Sanders accounted for, as well as Jalen Warren on any type of a dive option, read option kind of situation for Oklahoma State. Sanders, now they thought about throwing back, but instead turns in to a run. <laughs> Still on his feet, Presley is finally dragged down. Skinner gets to him. <laughs> That's why Dale Skinner impresses NFL scouts. He chases down the play almost to the top of the numbers and then makes the play on the backside hash. Watch him run. Okay, is he on the numbers here? Nope. I'm going to chase you down, Presley. One block, and that's a touchdown for Oklahoma State. Great effort. Again, take care of the ball for Spencer Sanders. And Sanders... Just one completion so far. One for six. Third and very long. He rolls. Heaves. Incomplete and a flag comes out. Also State's going to lobby for that to be uncatchable. They're talking about it. That's Ryan Robinson. Ryan Robinson. He let that go early. It really just looked like a throwaway. Let's see where that ball hits. You can see why Boise State is asking to pick that up. Pass interference, number four, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. They're saying that that ball was catchable. I thought I thought Spencer Sanders actually made a good decision of just throwing it away. And they are sticking with it. The ball hit outside the white. But now you got to rally if you're Boise State and just play great defense and make a response. Oklahoma State finish the drive as a touchdown. At the spot of the foul is where the ball is. That means the six-yard line. First and goal now. Oklahoma State's got to cash in on this. Just over two minutes to play in the first half. Emma, an offensive homer. Really, really admit it. It's a tough one right there. the middle. Warren into the end zone for the second time tonight. A much needed touchdown for the Cowboys. Yeah, big time answer by Oklahoma State. Nice little play design. Watch the shift. Now watch 90 go left to right and open up the cutback lane for Warren. And Warren, Warren, Warren is the prescription. Oklahoma State Cowboy fans want for the second half. Well, they take advantage of that P.I. call. Both, Both touchdowns so far tonight for Oklahoma State coming on the legs of Jalen Warren. 75-yard run earlier. This one from six yards out. Ten plays. A nine run plus a defense pass interference led to that 10 play 75 yard scoring drive. Just take a look where this ball hits. You want to give the guy the benefit of the doubt to be able to jump. 
But that's a, it's a tough one. Yeah, to think that he could jump and take that out of the air before yeah. it lands where it eventually does, yeah. of course. Uh, Warren, the Utah State transfer, has had an incredible journey. National Juco Player of the Year at Snow College on to Utah State, now Oklahoma State. Just a short drive from here, Snow College. Ten place, 75 yard drive. He's trying to fire everybody up. This is C.T. Thomas brought down just shy of the 20. Joel five to play in the first half. Coming up next, State Farm Halftime Show, number one Alabama wins in Gainesville. Number six, Clemson on upset alert. And a new era at USC begins. Trojans on the Palouse earlier today. Minutes away. came out. And Ronnie not taking a ton of shots this year. Let's take a look. Watch. Look at him. He fits the run and rips the ball out. Certainly no knee down. And a definite Cowboy recovery. A huge, huge turn of events right there. As Malcolm Rodriguez ripping it out. This could be for Oklahoma State going into halftime. I don't really think the potential play action shot here, but I just give the the ball and get out of the way. That's exactly what they do. Clap down to the 15. He picks up six on the play under two minutes. Danny Golovsky finished his block E about 15 yards downfield or flat back. Broncos were not happy about that, but it was a great finish. And they continue to ride Warren. He cuts back, switches arms, plows forward, and is brought down inside the one. He picks up 14. Markel Reed keeps him from finding Pater for the third time. You can see why they love this guy. Just kind of a slasher, pressing it, feeling it, cutting it all the way back, beating those unblocked Boise State defenders. Can't quite keep his feet to get in the end zone. First and goal. And Cassidy, the tight end. Into the eye. Warren. Mark down shy. Oklahoma State will use every second of this. They still have all three timeouts. They can do whatever they want here with these next three plays. You can run it. Obviously, a play action pass. And pull it out. Hard self play action for Sanders. Warren, well, every person in Stillwater and uh, Cowboy Land wants to give it to Warren. Early motion, a flag is out, and they blow this dead. And Sanders races in. Yeah, that was calling for it on a sneak. And the center didn't snap, and then everybody else moved. False start. Excuse me, snap and flashing. Number 51, offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. Yeah, so snap infraction, that just basically means a hitch. You know, as the center starts to snap the ball, just see right there, he's old-school playground quarterback sneak. He's going to take it in himself. Not legal in college football. Still second and goal. 30 seconds and counting. Three timeouts. Not going to be afraid to use those timeouts. Get the right thing. Sanders rolls. 
Sanders on his feet inside the five. Cuts back. We'll have to use a timeout. It's a nice job there by Belushi State at the point of attack of any would be run. And then they did a really good job sinking back in coverage. Watch this just get kind of engulfed, and Sanders has to eat it. Hard sell there. And you can see all those blue jerseys out in front of Jalen Warren and Spencer Sanders. And then again, the hard job is to get him on the ground. Setting up third and goal. It's incredible. Oklahoma State has a chance to take the lead into halftime. In a half where they've been greatly outplayed by Boise State and their quarterback, Spencer Sanders, has completed a single pass. Big play, turnover, and believe it, staying with it. When they had the ball inside the one. Now this, is, this will be an interesting play call. Again, if you're Mike Gunn, you have 12 seconds here. So they could they could sneak this if they wanted to and still use their timeout. They could get their whatever they think their best run for this situation is. I think they actually had the sneak on the uh, snap infraction false start. 11 straight runs for Oklahoma State. They had the pass interference they took advantage of. Sanders calls his own number, stretches it out, and he is in. Incredible. Great execution. Point after away from taking the lead. We have great execution here by Oklahoma State. And this is, again, the beauty of having an athletic guy at quarterback. They have to defend both sides of the field because they can pull it out. Or you bring him out in front and bring Jalen Moore and company to lead the way. And he does it himself. Second touchdown for Oklahoma State in just over two minutes. Hale is good, and Oklahoma State has taken the lead. Six seconds to play. Well, it began with this fumble. So hard to do there by Malcolm Rodriguez to fit that physical of a runner and rip it out, and then just great physicality, basically quarterback power. Old school play there. Spencer Sanders to Pater. And what Mike Gunny and company want, a quiet Broncos Stadium. Brown's up the field to kick off for the Cowboys. Three rushing touchdowns in the first half for Oklahoma State. And you think about the struggles on the ground for the Cowboys over the first two games, and you never would have thought they'd find three rushing scores in the first half alone here in Boise. Seven pass yards, 168 rush yards. The Boise State had just been in full command of this first half. half. And a lost fumble. And what has turned out to be a first half all about Jalen Warren and this Cowboys ground game. 22 rushes, just six pass attempts for Oklahoma State. Yeah, they've, they've gone to the, the, the change up instead of the hard sell play action pass. It's the Spencer Sanders designed run game. Proving to be difficult to defend so far from Boise State. And Oklahoma State gets the ball to begin the second half. Oklahoma State averaging nearly eight yards a carry in the first half. Cowboys take the lead into halftime. Now let's get you back out to our Los Angeles studios for first half highlights and analysis. All right, it is time for our State Farm Halftime Show. Chris Peterson, Manuel Hacho, I'm Mike Hill hanging out with you. Um, really, it's been a one-man show for the uh, Oklahoma State Cowboys, but that one man, has been more than enough as they have the lead 21-20 at the half as we take a look at our halftime highlights sponsored by State Farm and that one man, Jalen Warren, coach. Jalen has 150 yards of offense. Oklahoma State has 175 total. <laughs> yeah. 
If you can stop him, I think you got a good answer to winning the game. <laughs> That's yeah. a big if. That's a big if. <laughs> uh, they have not been able to uh, 12 carries, 150 yards. Boise State actually outplaying them, and they were helped by that fumble. How big was that fumble right before the half? It was huge. Momentum swings, random events, and momentum swings. That's what the game's all about. What I can't figure out, Boise needs to continue to load the box. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma State, one for six, seven yards passing. Put 11 guys in there until they prove they're going to throw it to beat you. Yep. Yeah, Spencer Sanders only throwing the ball six times for seven yards right now. Boise State out uh, uh, you, more yards than 239, 175 total yards so far uh, in the first half. 21-20, get you back out for the second half very shortly. About 11 hours ago over on Fox, our uh, big noon kickoff game featured the 50-year anniversary of the classic 1971 game of the century featuring Nebraska and Oklahoma. To Norman, we go for this one. A wild first half here in Boise, Oklahoma State, the first Power 5 team, the first Big 12 team, I beg your pardon, to make a trip to the blue in regular season history. And Oklahoma State leading by one going into the second half. Aaron Goldsmith and Mark Helfrich. Again, it looked like the Broncos would start to run away with it before the Cowboys took a lead late in the first half. And Hank Bachmeyer, third-year starter, what you make of his play in the first half, Mark? Yeah, opening throw of the game, first play of the game, gets Shakir the ball, then went on a one-on-one -on -one route to Davis Cutter over Harper for the touchdown. And then Warren went off, 75 yards untouched, thanks to the great blocking up front and by his receiver there on zero, Skinner. That was the quote-unquote easy one. Then he did a little bit of more hard work on a six-yard run right here. And then a turnover from this great Oklahoma State defense, Malcolm Rodriguez, leads to the final touchdown. And as you said, a quick turnaround from 27-21-20. to Cowboys. First half stats brought to you by PNC Bank, changing how you handle overdrafts with the cash mode. Oklahoma State, who took the lead going into halftime. The second half with the ball, and for Bronco Nation, they are uh, getting flashbacks to week one at UCF, where Boise State had the lead with just minutes left in the second quarter, only for UCF to score a touchdown right before the half. Two touchdowns in the third quarter, and eventually win that game over the Broncos. Oklahoma State, absolutely boomer bust here. Seven drives in total, four three and outs, three touchdowns. A career high already for Jalen Warren, the Utah State transfer, a couple of touchdowns. Oklahoma State trying to keep the momentum going from the final minutes of the first half, and not a surprise, they start on the ground with Warren. Yeah, it feels like everybody in the stadium knew that was coming. First five drives for the Cowboys. 79 yards, uh, 75 of those coming on Warren's touchdown run in the last two drives. 96 yards and a couple of scores. Yeah, a really good job by Casey Dunn, offensive coordinator at Oklahoma State, and Mike Dundee staying committed to running the football that led to that touchdown drive, and then they got the turnover, and that's a quick 14-point swing. 12 straight rushes for the Cowboys. Make it 13. Straight ahead. Running into Ezekiel Noah. That feels again like both of these defensive coordinators, Spencer Daniels, Center Boise State, Jim Knowles, Oklahoma State, they're challenging the quarterback to beat them throwing the football. And Sanders just one completion. And run it again. Warren cuts through, stays on his feet, has the first down for the Cowboys. He picks up 16 this time. He's on his way to 200 plus yards tonight. This just looks like a different offensive line right here. It gets here's that double eagle front we talked about. Watch the push, the pressure. Warren puts his right foot in the ground. He hits that cut back lane. Great vision. A good job getting it started up front. This is up tired, man. Give me some Gatorade. Get me back in there. 
Murphy Brown in the backfield now. A hand to Brown. Brown, big hole, cuts up field. And he's down right by the first down. He picks up nine. Lowen Gimby on his way back up. It was interesting talking to Mike Gundy this week. It, it, it sounded like the old school Baltimore Ravens, right? I mean, they, they really yeah. talked about run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, manage special teams of defense. Back to Brown. Brown's got the first. Brown carries. And Brown holding that knee again, trying to shake it loose for some reason. Cramping up possibly. Not what they need to see already without Des Jackson. Fifth-year senior who's been really good for Oklahoma State throughout the years. A Hutch Junior College transfer. I'll bring Warren back on as they tend to L.D. Brown. Brown, one of seven super seniors for the Cowboys. Back on his feet. When was the last time that a Mike Gundy quarterback had thrown for seven yards with under 13 minutes to play in the third quarter? And has the lead. And has the lead. Coming from pressure. Warren stretching it. Finds a hole. Warren picks up five of the play. Ryan Wimpy, who was out the first half because of a targeting call last week. Linebacker for Boise State. He's on the field in the second half after serving his suspension. That's Warren just kind of probe this. He gets staying square, staying physical. Sees that air and gets vertical. Would be back, especially with the ground game that the Cowboys are going to. Dominic Richardson, the running back now, just four carries on the season entry tonight. Richardson's getting in the mix. He lowers his shoulders and is near a first down. He's just shy. Jail Skinner brings him down. It's a great one on one tackle by Skinner right there. But again, this is where that receiver needs to come from the outside in it and block that great tackler. down. Remember Oklahoma State without Tay Martin, their most explosive receiver, unavailable, injured. Can't play tonight. Braden Johnson, same story. Oh, they're without Jaden Bray, true freshman, who had been their leading receiver over the first couple of games. Yeah, yeah that was the, the familiar refrain all week long in our, in our conversation with Oklahoma State. People just, he was young, outside, young outside, got to play through Spencer Sanders. They're playing physical on this the drive inside. Cowboys have run for more yards tonight than their first two games combined. And the flag comes out. Prior to the ball being snapped, full start, number 20, offense, five-yard penalty, first down. Yeah, just shift it out. You know, that's the hard part when you're that next guy. And that's really the fourth back when you include Desmond Jackson. He aligns in the slot out there in that empty alignment. Just see that ball. Not, not used to it. Not used to doing that a bunch. No gain on the play. It's like old school Big Eight football or something right there. We got a wind. We got how many? How many consecutive runs did you just say? Twenty now. Just check. I mean, at some point, Sanders is going to have to throw the football. That is a fact. And there it is. Rolling and incomplete. Well out of bounds. Third and very long coming, Shane Irwin with the pressure. 
Bryant, the sack leader from a season ago. Sorry about that. Yeah, good redirect there by Shane Irwin on one path. And then he sees Sanders try to break contain. Does a good job of forcing this throw. And watch 55. It's a nice long hair. Squeeze it. He sees Sanders. I want to contain this great athlete. Good decision by Spencer Sanders to throw it away. Another challenging down here for this Oklahoma State offense. Third and 15. Sanders trying to complete just his second pass tonight. He zips it and completes right by the sticks. Rashawn Owens, redshirt freshman from San Antonio. Basket it's just his fourth career reception. He keyed his blocking earlier. Watch Rashad Owens push on Markel Reed, getting past the sticks. Great outcut, good spot with that ball by Spencer Sanders. All of a sudden, look like a little Brandon Whedon impression here. A little drop back passing game out of nowhere on 3 15. Big time, big time conversion. Owens was a star triple jumper in the state of Texas in high school. It's the first down. Drop. Sanders wrapped up at the 20. DJ Shram, it's a loss of two. By DJ Shram. We're very concerned about all these matchups when you get past those starters with DJ Shram, a backup linebacker, Riley Wimpy out in the first half. Can we tackle Spencer Sanders in space? Mission accomplished on that one. Second and 12 now. Brandon Hawkins started his place with be suspended in the first half after a targeting call last week. It's been a while since Warren's carried the ball. And some early motion in the backfield, it looked like. Yeah, and you said it, Warren. Warren was a little antsy. I think it was him that <laughs> jumped. It's yeah. been a few plays. Yeah. Come on, Spencer. I need the rock. So that's two just false starts by the running backs. One in an empty set and one here. He's excited to get going. Watch seven. Prior to the ball being snapped, false start, number 90, offense. The player did not get set with all 11 players prior to the snap. Five-yard penalty, well, second down. When you down. are here in Boise, you deal with the blue chaos. 44 false starts, forced at home. Most in the FBS, if you go back to the last two full seasons, three today in this Cowboys offense. feet but now a swarm pushed back beyond the 30 it looked like a good second effort Scott Matlock the first one there to push him back it's a loss of one it's a great force and you said it Scott Matlock watch the interior 99 to see big old blue jersey coming through there avoids him and then somehow almost breaks it out and Boise State trying to make a statement here in the gang tackle and finish because that guy will break a bunch of Third and very long now for Oklahoma State. Sanders brought down. Sacked at the 35. Scott Matlock on the case. Broncos seventh tackle for a loss tonight. Right here, just an effort sack by Matlock. He showed you could stop the run. Watch 99 right there in that three technique outside the guard. He says, Come down, I got you one on one. I'm gonna help my buddy on a pick stunt and then just keep working. Great effort, great coverage on the back end of that. Allowed that stunt to get home. <laughs> Khalil Shakir standing inside his own 10. A little pooch punt. ahead for Boise State. 21-20, Oklahoma State having a punt as Matlock. A sack and a loss of eight. Boise State trying to come back to life. Really, anything from pop culture, if you put orange and blue on them, they suddenly come to life. We got Megatron. We saw uh, Darth Vader earlier, Elvis. Uh, there was a, a, a Predator type. There's a lot going on right there. A lot of orange stuff at this game, right? There's Elvis in the house. Now, Bachmeyer. Oh. 
inside his own five. First play of the drive for the Broncos. Buckmeyer tucks. Hit hard. Picks up a good gain on first down. Devin Harper delivers the blow after a gain of six. Our QB comparison with just about seven minutes to play in the third quarter. I mean, this is <laughs> night and day. Yeah, and it's just play selection, right? They've they've gone ground chuck uh, for the Oklahoma State Cowboys, and they're up one. You got to get tip your hat to that. But Hank Bachman playing efficiently. It's fourth down of bounds. We've had a Khalil Shakir signing in some time, Mark. Got off to a good start. A lot of targets early seven, in fact. That play a loss of two. Yep, we've hardly seen him since the first quarter. Yep, they're double teaming him. They're, they're trying to eliminate that guy from the game plan. Somebody else is going to have to beat him. Yeah. Really good job of that so far. Broncos' most explosive player on offense. So 36 coming for Boise State. Watch the linebacker come out of the middle to come help with that safety. See four on three over that bump set. Pressure. Incomplete. Well, there was Shakir. Pressure from Tyler Lacey. It's a three and out for the Broncos. Yeah, nice job by Holmes. Christian Holmes, zero. Outside in, kind of seeing the action happen. Watch his eyes come into Bachmeyer. Right there, nice job breaking on the ball. They know they're trying to feed him too. And here's the stunt, getting home, a little tackle, tackle twist. But Lacey again on Bachmeyer. Christian Holmes loving it. First three and out for Boise State tonight. Wesley, back to Wesley standing on about his own 40. He calls for the fair catch. And a short field ahead for Oklahoma State. Under six minutes to play the third quarter. Cowboys in front. Well, tomorrow, George Kittle leads the Niners against the Eagles, or Matt Ryan and the Falcons take on Tom Brady and the defending champion Bucks. Check local listings for the game in your area only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Tom Brady and the Bucks taking down the Cowboys, that thrilling opening kickoff game in the NFL. And, and he was masterful once again. Stay on the ground. Jalen Warren picks up five. He's having a career night on the blue. He's nearing 200 yards. He's at 180 now. The long of 75 back in the first half. Just running through that arm tackle of the would-be tackler Shane Irwin, 55. Second and exactly where they want to be. In motion, Presley. Back to Warren. Warren trying to slither outside. Ankle tackled and now finished up high. That's a loss of one. Shane Irwin was the finisher there. Kaneho got it started. Kaneho in combination with Tyreek Jones and J.L. Skinner. Dynamic safeties. This is the unsung hero, but he does it a lot of times with his brain. Recognition of sets, splits, footwork, and another tackle for loss for Kaneho. That is a TFL. We're hearing that a football tackle for loss. Good on defense, not good on offense. Cowboys need six. Sanders to pass towards the battery. Wide open and a first down. He finds Rashad Owens again. Oh, Owens has been the target on third down of the second half. He picks up 18. LaBeouf with his eyes in the backfield. Watch 22 outside there, peeking in the backfield. Uh-oh, I let that guy go too easily. The safety can't get over the top. Good recognition and good job getting rid of it there by Spencer Sanders. This goes to show you how beat up the receiver core is yeah. the Cowboys. Owens, who had three career receptions in train tonight, has picked up two critical third down completions here in the second half. Of running, running backs there, just makeshift effort by this Cowboys staff. A really good job. Somewhere stays on his feet and now is finished for the loss. JL Skinner wraps him up by their shoelaces. It's a loss of two. Yeah, Skinner zero. Markel Reed eight. Great effort. This guy, you can see it takes it takes a village to bring this guy to the ground. That's 6'4, 220 Skinner, 6'1, 190. Skinner kind of just keep, keep 
keys, eyes in the backfield, probe through guys. Anytime sevens on the ground in the field of play is a victory for this Bronco defense. They reverse into the hands of Presley. Presley, the wide receiver, just got lit up. J.L. Skinner laying the wood. Just saw his range. We saw his speed earlier. His eyes seen through things. Just an unbelievable job of seeing through. He sees the mesh and then comes back and let's see how he fits it up. <clears throat> wow. A tackle with some hang time. That's pretty impressive. Sanders on the draw. Sanders short. Fourth down coming. <laughs> Gundy looks like he's bringing on the field to the field goal team here. Yeah, fourth and a long three. Great job competing his tail off by Spencer Sanders. And that is what this Bronco Stadium crowd was waiting for. This will be 41 yards out for Alex Hale. It's near his career long. Last year he drilled one from 44 against West Virginia. With enough leg, but it's no good. He misses from 41 out. It's been 20 to 7 for a long time. This stadium get into it. It's the defense and special teams they're fired up about here in Boise. Jail Skinner with one of the biggest hits on this college football Saturday. We'll take a listen. State starts on the ground. Ronnie has had a fairly quiet performance so far tonight. He picks up five. You know, since 626 of the second quarter, when Boise State drilled a field goal and they had a 27 lead at that time, they've now run only five plays since then. One of them was the fumble from Halani. It was the fumble, the three and out, and now the first play of this drive. Second play coming. Bachmeyer is brought down, wrapped up, and wrestled by Jaden Jernigan. Jernigan, who missed last year with injury, played every game as a true freshman in 2019. It's a loss of six. Yeah, 6'1", 285 right there over the, the right guard as we're looking at it. The left guard, how the quarterback does. And he just flat beats it. Great effort, making a living in the backfield right now. Garrett Curran, and they're getting his first start tonight of the year. Back in there in the starting line. Burning long now for Boise State. Back now with time. Complete. And a first. Oh, drop. The ball is dropped. It was Davis Cutter who had the touchdown earlier. Malcolm Rodriguez right there. And Cutter incomplete to bring on the punt team. Yeah, great job coming inside out by Malcolm Rodriguez. Ends up as three on one. Really good fit there, I think, by Hank Bachmeyer. Malcolm Rodriguez just ripped it out. That is a big-time answer. You felt a little momentum out of this crowd for Oklahoma State to get that stop right there. Second straight three and out for Boise State. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. To Velasquez. Pump things away. Holds on to it. We will step aside. First we had the winds. Now we have the rain. We don't want to know what comes next. Under a minute to play third quarter. Started raining a few minutes ago. Spencer Sanders and the Cowboys take over. They start on the ground. Warren wrapped up from behind. 
That was Wimpy. They can let this go to the corner here if they want to. See if Coach Gundy decides. Looks like he's huddling him up, playing, playing the fourth quarter with the lead. On either side, scoring in the third quarter. Boise State had two drives, two three and outs, three total yards in the third quarter. Yeah, had a couple chances for completions we saw early on that drive from Brockmeyer, but I just guarantee defensive quarter Jim Knowles says, hey man, we're up by one, we win this game. We're going to win this game on defense. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. Have a feel of the fourth quarter will be a good one. 21-20, fourth quarter coming up. Cowboys and Broncos from the blue. A buster is nothing if he's not on beat. As we get set for the fourth quarter, Oklahoma State leading by one. I see the motion man. Presley. He's got the first down. And dragged out of bounds. He knows the chains for the Cowboys. Pick up a 14. Nice job by Cole Birmingham. Nice play designed by Casey Dunn. Offensive coordinator. Just a little screen. Watch a left tackle work in and then get back out in front of the screener and finish on Markel Red the corner. Presley played in 10 games last year as a true freshman. 118 yards and three scores in their bull win over Miami. Versus State confused on their defensive personnel. Sanders stepping up and brought down. They had time and then it collapsed on him. Shane Irwin right there. It's a loss of two. They try to throw a sluggo, that slant and go to the Field. Unfortunately, it looks like Josh Sills, 70 down there, a little shaken up. And again, Shade Irwin, just great effort. Has that extra tick to get there since Spen Spencer Sanders had to pull the ball down. Sills, first team all conference last year as they tend to him. We will step aside. Tonight's drive of the game is sponsored by Lincoln and the power of Sanctuary. We take you back. To the final moments of the first half. And a George Halani fumble right after a lengthy touchdown drive, by the way, for Oklahoma State. Cowboys recover, and then it was Sanders who marched it in. What a swing that was as a flag comes in. Definitely a holding area. Now, holding, number 74, offense, 10 yard penalty. Second down. Take a look at the 74. Good job by Matt Block there, 99, getting over the top. You just got to let him go. Once he gets out leverage like that. And then Warren does something freaky. That's a gutsy move, man. Preston Wilson, by the way, the man who committed the penalty. Confusion on the ball placement here. It's one of those that's got a third. Would be third and one about 12. Or second and a part of Idaho. Good, good chunk of Idaho. They're going to decline and set up third down. Boise State has elected to decline the penalty for offensive holding. It'll be third down. Big, big play right here by both sides. Again, this defense of Boise State has to spur this offense on. It hasn't done anything in second half. So third and long here for Oklahoma State. Design run on third and long. He gets past midfield and then forced out of bounds. Out of bounds. Six on the play, fourth down coming. They got half of it back, and they're going to punt. Definitely miscommunication there on the back end. 
not sure what happened there. Spencer Sanders just caught it, took off. The back was going one way. It wasn't a, re, you know, a zone read type of thing. That was the when in doubt, take off and run, it looked like. Can Shaquille get one going in the special teams game? He's inside his own 10. Simmons for a fair catch. Not the 11. Now we can, uh, watch out. Oof. If only they both had face masks. And DeMarco Jones ends up running full speed into our umpire who takes it right at the chops. It has to be tended to and he's able to walk off the field on his own, but he's been taken off the field to be tended to further. Yeah, he was trying to stay in there. He's a tough dude. In the face of Bachmeyer, just a pickup of one. That is Oklahoma State defense suffocating, make you earn every inch right now. Since the George Halani fumble, look at this difference. Only four yards for Boise State. And the wind got taken out of the sails immediately. Back to back Sha Shakir completion set up third and one. This feels like a, a must get for Boise State right now. Third catch of the year. It's a pickup of seven and a first down for Boise State. The play design right here by offensive coordinator Tim Plow. A little half roll, getting away from this devastating pass rush of Oklahoma State. Here over there. Mark Martin, who had a sack earlier with applying the pressure. These, these shots just keep adding up. Bachmeyer taking shot after shot. A lot of these times, as a person watching the game, you see just follow that flight, but he takes a shot all the way to the ground. Martin, a three time high school state champion wrestler. To the 35. That's a pickup of eight. Habibi Likio scored a touchdown earlier, his first since transferring from Oregon to Boise State. 32. Both teams shut in a bunch of subs. A sneak with the ways to go for it. Yeah, you, you're, you're questioning that was uh, understandable. Full two yards right there. And they just kept driving and driving and driving. Wow, they get it. Jake Stetz, Dante Harrington, Garrett Curran. Nice job just driving through that. And Hank Bachmeyer, 6'1", 210 from Murrieta. Needed every ounce of that push. Good to see John Ajoku back in there. This gets blown up right away, going nowhere. Colin Oliver, true freshman with high expectations. Graduated high school early to enroll ahead of schedule in Stillwater. So lost the two. Third and very long coming 
Lamont Bishop, the linebacker. It's a loss of seven. And you said it, Jim Knowles, good design here. It looks like zone. It turns into a six-man rush with five blockers, right? We talked about that earlier. Six guys, too many. Hank Blackmire has to recognize that and get the ball out. Throw it away and run. Third and a bunch. But shy of the first down, Davis Cutter, Tanner McAllister draped all over him in coverage. Pick up a 16, the fourth down coming, and the punt team coming on. Number three, hesitancy again in this crowd, not liking that call. That was a great job of finding Davis Cutter there across the middle by Bachmeyer. Had nice protection, but again, the key there, the second down sack, taking the sack. He's got to do a little bit better job of getting the ball out of his hands on the perimeter. Back to that quick game stuff. He did a nice job with it. Jim Williams finding a lot of answers against his Boise State offense. He's still standing in his own 15. Singles for the fair catch. And we talked about it at the very start of this one. This Cowboy defense trying to set the tone early this season for Oklahoma State. Cowboys trying to get to 3-0 and going through the blue. I think Bachmeyer had as efficient of a first quarter as you could really hope for. 12 for 15, a score. Since then, 8 for 14, sacked three times. Yeah, Jim Knowles, credit to this Oklahoma State unit, has shut him down, and they've just done a great job on first down. Is really there doing a bunch of their damage. And Bush State State again, they don't want to get in a drop-back contest with anybody. Sanders give to Warren. Warren picks up six and is inching closer to 200 yards on the blue tonight. And on the flip side of that, Oklahoma State doing a nice job of managing the tempo. Not going crazy with the tempo right here. They'll simulate this snap. Takes a little more time off that play clock. Grind down that clock. Rest your defense. One big hole. Bounces out past the 30. He's got a Cowboys first down. Yeah, you said a great cutback by Jalen Warren and then a physical run through that arm tackle of J.L. Skinner. Had a big hit earlier. Watch the eyes, watch the vision. Stay square. That means you can, go, you can go anywhere. You can press it vertically, bounce it to the left, or in that case, bounce it back all the way to the right. For a big first down game, keeps the clock turning. They're running out 193 yards. A chance for more. He falls forward past the 40. Skinner brings him down, but not after a pickup of six. I mean, the formula has been pretty simple tonight offensively for Oklahoma State. Of course, State, you have to see them take more air out of this, get these defenders a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage, challenging Spencer Sanders to get to beat them, throwing the football, and get more bodies to get Jalen Warren on the ground. 45th run of the night for Oklahoma State as Jalen Warren, the Utah State transfer, is now over 200 yards. Plus two touchdowns. Third and one. Well, they push forward. Seven to 15. And what will be counting as soon as they move the chains. Debbie is loving what he's seen out of this run game. Inside seven minutes. Warren, big hole, bruising forward. Inside of Boise State territory. You just wonder again where this was the last two weeks. Part of that certainly is Spencer Sanders and a commitment to going with Jalen Warren. But watch this crease. Great job on the backside there. Again by the Cowboy back. Tight end to you and me, Greg and Cassidy. And another seven-yard chunk. Dominic 
Richardson, the running back now. But keep in mind, they averaged fewer than two yards a carry week one against an FCS opponent in Missouri State. Last week, they averaged barely three yards a carry and a win against Tulsa. And tonight, they run a rough shot. Play action. Incomplete. Looking for Rashad Owens. Third and three coming. This is exactly what we just talked about, bringing some pressure to add another body in the box and for Spencer Sanders to become, if it, if it is the RPO world, to do the P part of that, which is pass it. And they just dropped it. Looked like he made a great, great throw. There's that edge pressure. And Rashad Owens just can't finish the deal right there. Big third down. Every third down is going to be big from here on out. He stumbled up and stopped shy of the marker. Obacheri right there. <laughs> the line Obacheri swimming through the blue. Fourth down. Divine here. A big run stop right here is Divine for this Bronco defense. Now they got to play cleanly on special teams, both sides. They've had some big impact plays both way, both for and against one another early on in their seasons. Great execution on that coffin corner punt. Perfect. And the six. Boise State needed a stand. They got a long field ahead. Neither team has scored since halftime. Broncos running out of time. Cowboys leading by one. And for Hank Bachmeyer, who got up to such a fantastic start for the first quarter, he has been under duress since. Yeah, just a ton of shots. It's been in the pass game. It's been in the run game. They've done a nice job changing things up, both from a coverage standpoint, a pressure standpoint. Right there, they're moving the front and getting to Bachmeyer. That was a zero blitz. And creating a big negative play on second down. That's a strike. He finds Shakir and a big play that they have been missing in the second half. Any points here, if you take inventory, right? Both teams have three times. Any points on this drive, you're loving it. We should take, just go back to your base game plan, the stuff that you love going into this game, and execute. That's a connection for 19 yards. My roll sets his feet. He Double move on the outside, and Bachmeyer just too much air. Watch Col uh, Colby Harvell Peel will come up from the backside hash, becomes the center fielder. Bachmeyer doesn't anticipate him being able to cover that much ground. Just way too much air on that ball, too far to the inside. They changed up the front look, but that was just all on the location. Had to lead cutter outside away from Harvell Peel. Two takeaways tonight for this Cowboys defense. Their first interception on the year. Now exactly what we just said. <laughs> Any points by Oklahoma State. That feels insurmountable. Boise State still has three timeouts. 451. We'll talk about those soon. Yeah, they're going to run this as much as they can. Warren once again. He picks up two. Inside five minutes. Both defenses have pitched a shutout of the second half. Yeah, they've just settled down. It's been a just a defensive slugfest. Obviously, some opportunities offensively that they have missed. But not right now, Craven and company up front. Got to be run stopping machines. Get Spencer Sanders on the ground if he's a puller. And get a shot for their offense. Warren brought down by two. Ezekiel Noah, one of them. Third down coming now. Inside four minutes. Skinner coming from the top down. Noah coming from that backside backer position. There's seven. 
Combine him for the stop. We'll keep working this clock. In the clock, here for Spencer Sanders. Talk to your O-line a little bit. Back to Warren. He has met and brought down well. Shy, the ball is out. Broncos have it. They've got a scoop, and they have got a score. Okay, the flag it goes back. out. It's it Wimpy back. who forced it. Skinner who took it back, but a flag is out. I think they're going to call him down. And obviously now we'll come into when did the whistle blow? We certainly can't hear that. The the field, the if the runner was here. down prior to the ball coming it. loose, it's fourth down, Oklahoma State. But it's it's still a stop. It's still fourth down, and we'll, I'm sure we'll see and take a look here. Wimpy can't see the right knee there. The left knee definitely was not down. But where's that right knee? Riley Wimpy, who did not play in the first half due to that targeting ruling from last week. And Dean Blandino, we're going to have a tough one here. It's close. It's that right elbow that hits the ground. Is the ball coming out before the elbow hits? Now, the officials ruled the runner down, so the best Boise can do is get the recovery. There is a clear recovery, but they will not get an advance if replay ultimately determines this is a fumble. The runner down prior to the ball coming loose is under further review. And up, that, if it's the elbow, Dean, that ball's out. For right? sure. Uh, that ball's, I think the thing that it'll be interesting if they can see that right knee, which on that lap, last look, I think that was a fumble. And now this Boise crowd and Andy Avalos are going to say, hey, where's the eat the whistle, let it play out? That's a, that's a game changer right there that, that would have been a touchdown. Watch the right knee. Nothing down. Nothing down. That's a clear fumble. That's out. Dean, what's the what's the perspective here from the officials? Looks like we're going to get a call. Dean, in terms of letting the play go on without yeah. blowing it dead, and obviously impacts things greatly here. Yeah, you want to be 100% sure. If you're gonna, you want to see it. You want to be decisive. But if you're not sure, let it play out. Obviously, someone saw the, that the runner was down. But obviously, from these replays, you can see, especially that one from behind, the ball's out before the elbow. So this should go to Boise. But again, you don't get the return because the original ruling on the field was down. All right. Well, Jim, we appreciate it. This has been an early season by this Boise State defense to find by turnovers. In fact, they've been one of the best teams in the nation in takeaways. Eight takeaways over the first two games, tied for second in the country. Five picks, three fumble recoveries. Yeah, right there, Coach Avalos is getting going. Hey, man, all you guys talk about is not After blowing review, the whistle, not blowing the whistle. The ball came loose prior to the lead changer. of the runner being on the ground. Boise State will have the ball first down at the 41-yard line. Is it fourth down? First down, right? Clock clock operator, please reset the game clock to three minutes and 22 seconds. It is seconds. Broncos ball. 3.22. Yeah, first, first, first and ten. We had a little miscommunication in the booth there. Defensive coordinator Jim Knowles has pitched a shutout since it was 20 to 7. Under three and a half to play. And play action. They set up the tunnel screen. They've got it to Evans. Evans has enough for the first down. Nice design right there. Using Shakir really as a decoy. Right, he's a marked man in coverage. Sometimes I can soften two guys. He's blocking on the screen. Nice first down game. Pressure. Brought down again. Brock Mark 
kicked in. Outside. The flag comes in. Brock Martin, unbelievable effort again. Type situation, or we'll find out. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number nine, defense, no hit on the quarterback. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Costly penalty. Now let's take a look here. Oklahoma State coaches on the sideline, obviously not liking this call. Lockmire, you can see scanning, great effort, a low hit. And that's what they're calling low hit. So they're discussing right there in that two man huddle. Was he blocked into him? Was he thrown into him? That's certainly what Coach Gundy is arguing about. That's a tough one again. Mark Martin, he's not a dirty player, guys. He's just an effort guy. That's a 15 yard penalty. Gundy's beside himself. They are in field goal range for the Broncos. And so they're in decision mode right here. Do we. Grind it out, try to win it with the kick. And certainly rather score a touchdown. In the game with a field goal. As time expires. Unless you cut her. Pressure again and incomplete. Jason Taylor in that time with the pressure. Yeah, Bachmeyer again, as you said. Taylor, Martin, Evers. Jernigan, Lacey, all getting shots on Bachmeyer. That one's high, clean. Uh, he has been beat up since the start of the second quarter. Oklahoma State again with all three timeouts. Based on what happens, the second down play, third down play. Mike Gundy's thinking about how he can get the ball back to his offense should they score. With the most amount of time, and there's four on the play clock. And they call timeout. They use their first. 2.46 to play. Clock expiring. Boise State takes their first charge timeout of the half. 30 seconds in length. Andy Avalos and Boise State and Broncos Nation, they have been circling this date on the calendar for years. This home and home with Oklahoma State was booked back in 2013 and 2018. It was the Cowboys who took it to the Broncos in Stillwater. And Boise State a chance tonight to take down a Power 5 team on their home turf. And you look at the highest winning percentage in the nation since 2000. No home field advantage greater than right here in Boise. He's still hot about that rough in the passer call. You can understand what he's saying about the right tackle. And again, this Bronco fan base and Andy Avalos are saying, hey, we, we had a scoop and score that should have been a touchdown. Had the defensive pass interference in the, in the first half. All surely to be talked about for a long time after this. Yeah, the P.I. led directly to a touchdown for Oklahoma State. Man rush. Oh, pretty pressure. Secure, trying to turn up field and ripped out of bounds. Pulled down out of bounds by Christian Holmes. Trying to get the ball in the hand of their playmaker. And the key there, as you said, for Mike Gundy, out of bounds. So that stops the clock right here. And so the ball's replaced. Good job in space getting Shakir on the ground. Bunch of great defensive back play today, man. This is a two talented groups. Physical, fast, can cover. Christian Holmes sideline to sideline right there. Third and nine now. Play action pressure coming. Unloads in zone. Overthrown for Shakir. Tight coverage. McAllister right there. Pressure from David Devin Harper. And it's fourth and long. Defense corner Jim Knowles again. Third and nine. Second and nine. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Trusting those guys in the back end. Watch the coverage here. Little two-on-two -two battle. Tanner McAllister, their best 
nickel safety corner is really a slightly bigger corner. And again, taking a shot in the gut from Devin Harper. This will bring on Jonah Dalmas for the lead. This is from 36 out. Dalmas has it knuckle on him, and he misses. Tipped at the line, possibly. It's no good with 2.05 to play. Oklahoma State blocked a field goal in the opener against Missouri State. Let's see if somebody got their hand on this. I think so. I think it's just low and kind of it just... Let's take a look here. 25, 95 might have a shot at it. Yes, he did. Jason, Jason Taylor. Six foot. Looked like it was left. It was definitely low. Oh, she stayed. All right, sorry. Okay, I'm going cannot run the clock out just yet. I have to get one first down on the timeout stopping battle. Well, the cuticles of Jason Taylor could be the difference maker in this game tonight. 30 seconds in my That brings on, as the timeout from Boise State, our Old Trapper Smoke and Player of the Game, sponsored by Old Trapper. What's your beef? and yards a couple of scores this one from 75 yards out yeah and one from 75 and a seven yard per carry average probably not too much debate among the uh, old trapper voters on that one but it's not over yet but a ton a ton of credit to mike gundy and his coaching staff without essentially four starters and their skill guys doing what they've done in boise tonight very impressive but the job not done Third and long coming. We'll take another timeout. Boise State takes their third and final charge timeout of the half. So third down here. 30 seconds in late. With that, this, that's Boise State's final timeout. They'll run the ball. This is where Mike Gundy will let it go all the way up. Bang on timeout with one second left on the play clock. So you're looking at after the punt exchange, probably just slightly under a minute, right around a minute. Well, that is Jason Taylor. Well, last week, he had a pick six called back because of a defensive penalty. He has two career touchdown returns, one on a fumble, the other on an onside kick. And Taylor coming up big on special teams here on the blue. Yeah, perfect timing to, as you said, that is a fingernail. That's a glove extent. That's a, if that's an extra large glove instead of a double X. We're seeing the flight of that ball. Third and long now. Broncos need a stop. Sanders floats it. Sanders completes it. What a catch. It is a catch in bounds. Cole Cabanis. They dial up Cole Cabanis when they need a completion more than any other time. I'm not joking here. Talk to me, Aaron. That guy's the ninth really on the, on the depth catch. chart. The ninth receiver on the depth. Of course, on third and seven for the ball game, you throw it to number 37, Cole Cabanis. Incredible. Wow. Just a rainbow, and Cabanis adjusts on it. And moves the chains. Ton of trust, Mike Gundy and Spencer Sanders and Kale Cabanis. <laughs> Cole Cabanis. And, and Jason Taylor the second helps seal this one for the Cowboys. <laughs> Just a great location with that ball. There's nothing Martell Reed 8 could have done with that location. 
Kind of look at this. Rhythm back shoulder. And I, I guarantee he wasn't looking at his, you know, scouting report for Kale Cabanis. Now we shot, we showed the home winning percentage for Boise State since 2000. Looking at it from another perspective, they're 123 and 10 on their home turf since 2000. Only their 11th loss. It's going to be one more snap under 40. The officials are going to tell Spencer Center, hey, just don't, don't, don't do that. Mike Dunny's complaining about that, but this is where you create some issues. He, he was kind of taking his time there, mm. taking a knee. But it's one snap. Boise and State. flight back to Stillwater. Broncos scoreless since the 626 marker of the second quarter. I'm not sure if this is a direct flashbacks to the opening game at UCF when Boise State got out to an early lead and let it slip away. Yeah, it feels the same night. Big pick six in that game. In this game, it was a throw and a catch for a touchdown. Oklahoma State comes to the blue and they win in a way that we just are not used to seeing Cowboy football win ball games. 251 rush yards, 68 rush yards for Boise State, 87 yards passing. A couple of big time force fumbles, a couple of calls that will be discussed a lot tonight. What a great battle by two coaches that are coaching at their alma mater. Jason Taylor, the second, number 25. This would have been the go ahead field goal from 36 out. And he got just enough to redirect. Oklahoma State's second block field goal already this year. And then Cabanis, who? Cole Cabanis with the dagger. Credit to the SIDs from Oklahoma State. They came in before the game and said, hey, we might get to these two guys. And Cale Cabanis just set off a party in Stillwater. What a win for Oklahoma State. Coming up next, we'll send it to the studio for post-game coverage right after this quick commercial break. What a ball game. For Coach Mark Alfred, I'm Aaron Goldsmith. So glad you could be with us tonight from Boise. It's a final score. Oklahoma State comes to the blue, and they win it 21-20.